Good morning everyone, and welcome to our discussion today. Today we will be discussing staphylococcal infections, and the important role they play in our lives. We will be exploring what staphylococcal infections are, their causes, treatments, and possible prevention strategies. Please join me as we explore this important topic. Staphylococcal infections are caused by bacteria called staphylococcus. These can range from skin infections to more severe conditions such as bacteremia, endocarditis, food poisoning and toxic shock syndrome. Common skin infections can also lead to bacteremia, bone infections, and pneumonia. Endocarditis is an infection of the inner lining of the heart chambers and valves, while food poisoning can be caused by staphylococcal infections. Toxic shock syndrome is a rare but potentially fatal condition caused by toxins from certain types of staph bacteria. Staphylococcal infections are caused by staphylococcus bacteria, which is typically present on the skin and in the noses of healthy individuals. Nevertheless, transmission of the bacteria from person to person or through contact with a contaminated item, like a towel, clothing, or sports equipment is plausible. To lower the odds of a staph infection, good hygiene should be implemented. Staphylococcal infections are caused by bacteria and can be serious if left untreated. Individuals with chronic conditions such as diabetes, cancer, vascular disease, eczema, and lung disease, those with weakened immune systems, following a recent surgery or hospital visit, using a catheter, breathing tube, or feeding tube, an implanted device, burns, those on dialysis, those who inject illegal drugs, and those who participate in contact sports are all at higher risk of contraction. Staphylococcal infections are caused by bacteria, leading to a variety of illnesses. Skin infections can manifest as pimples or boils, while bone infections show inflammation, pain, warmth and redness. Endocarditis results in flu-like symptoms such as fever, chills and fatigue. Food poisoning associated with staph infections can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and fever. Pneumonia, another staph-caused illness, exhibits symptoms of high fever, chills and persistent cough. Toxic shock syndrome is further compounded by high fever, low blood pressure, vomiting, diarrhea and confusion. A physical exam, along with questioning about symptoms, can help to diagnose a staph infection. To gain further information about the infection, your healthcare provider may need to take a skin scraping, tissue sample, stool sample, or throat or nasal swabs. Examining the area may also be beneficial. Staphylococcal infections are caused by various types of staphylococcal bacteria, which can result in mild to life-threatening infections. Treatment is typically administered with antibiotics, depending on the type of infection. These antibiotics may be administered orally, applied as a cream or ointment, or given intravenously. Notably, some staph infections, such as MRSA, are resistant to many antibiotics. Staphylococcal infections can cause a wide range of symptoms, from mild skin infections to life-threatening illnesses. To prevent these infections, handwashing is key, avoid sharing towels, sheets, and clothing with someone with a staph infection. Do not share athletic equipment and practice food safety, if you have a staph infection, cook for yourself only. Also, keep cuts or wounds covered. These practices can reduce the risk of contracting staph infections. Staphylococcal infections are a group of bacteria that can cause a wide variety of illnesses in humans. Symptoms and treatments vary depending on the type of infection. Common infections include boils, impetigo, and staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. Staphylococcal infections are often spread by direct contact with contaminated surfaces or through contact with an infected person. Treatment of staphylococcal infections usually involves antibiotics and in some cases, drainage of the infection.